Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, I want to say Ramadan Kareem to you all. It's been forever. I should have made this video a lot sooner so I could have said that. But yes, but going back, going back uh, to what this video is going to be about, as you can read from the title of the video, it's about my hijab story. Um, there, there are a few questions when I went on, on the internet there's, it's, a, it's an actual tag. You go by answering the questions. But um, I, I feel like this video should be more about my hijab story and my advice to you all. So I'm just going to probably just pick a few of those questions and just ramble off or just tell you from the beginning, you know, as what made me wear hijab. So let's start. So I'm going to refer to one of the questions in the tag which is how old were you when you started wearing the hijab? Well, I was 20, 20 years old. Right now, I just turned 25, so it's been a good couple of years that I've been wearing hijab, alhamdulillah. Let me just go back to my, um, my hijab story from the beginnings, the beginning of it. Let me just give you a background. So, my brothers and I, we were born and raised in Venezuela. Um, we came here for like elementary, like I was like in third grade or something, so I totally did not know English or um, my dad put us in public school so we can learn, you know, English. So when we learn English really well, my dad decided for us to go to um, an Islam school. So it's basically when I was about to go to sixth grade, which is middle school here in the United States. And he wasn't a big fan of the public school system here. So he put us in an Islamic school. Now, mind you, this school was literally an hour away from our home. So that means we had to get up at 6 in the morning. School started like at 7 something or 8 o'clock something. The drive there was an, an hour away and the drive coming back home was an hour away. And we did that until I graduated. The next seven years of my life, we literally made my dad made that sacrifice of sending us an hour away for school. Um, and you know, honestly, when you're young, you, those things bother you because you're like, okay, why can't I just go to a regular school? Like, an hour away is not that fun, especially when you're in 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, you're like, okay, you're like out of it. But it was so much more than that. It was the teachings and the fundamentals that we learned in the Islamic school that we would have probably never had being in a public school um, so that was the beginning so then when I graduated high school um, you know I was like oh my god finally I get to go to college and I get to wear nice outfits go in a class you know I get to look pretty and and just all these stuff that girls normally think about um, so anyway here I am from going from this place you know knowing just like 300 people or whatever and, to now going to college and it's like thousands of people and they're young people and they're not telling me what to do and I just feel free and it's just like, you know, whatever. It was amazing. Um, but it felt weird and I know this sounds super like corny or whatever, but going from an environment that you have to watch your every move and, you know, watch your mouth and be super respectful and being super like on point um, and then going to a place where no one really cares who you are and no one's watching you and no one nobody cares like about anything it's it's a weird transition and um you know believe it or not i i, I got in further away from islam not in a bad way not in a drastic way but it, it wasn't like an everyday thing where i would go and read quran you know slowly it diminished and it wasn't I didn't really care what I wore, if it was skin tight, if it was short sleeve, if it was capris, like I just didn't care. Mind you, my parents are not re super religious, like they teach us the fundamentals and they're very good, like alhamdulillah. My dad didn't really force hijab upon my sister and I. Um, it had nothing to do with, with him being lenient on that area. Of course, would he want us to? Yeah, he would love us to, but he didn't want he didn't want him to be the reason why we're wearing it. He wanted us to make our own decisions. That way, if anything happens, it's like we made that decision. You know, we don't want to be like, oh, dad, see, you made us wear it. So 
I hate it and it's all your fault. Like, and growing up in America, it's not the easiest place to wear it too. Um, so, leaving high school and going to college was a huge transition. It was very, very weird and I got in just a little bit further from, from Islam. But um, regardless of that, I always like having a good surrounding. Um, I always try to, to befriend people who who were good, who, who didn't talk bad about others, um, just because I'm not like that, and I I would never want to surround myself with someone who who likes to gossip, because I don't want to turn into that. So I I kept my circle very small, and I think that's the reason why I am the way I am today. Is because I never liked having three, four, five best friends. I always like having one. I don't really have like 10, 15 close friends. I have probably like three, five. If you know, you can count it with one hand, literally. I know a lot of people and I have a lot of acquaintances, but it doesn't mean that they're my top five who, who I text or who I snap. Like it's, I, I try to keep it very small because I know how I am as a person and I know where I want to be. So having a whole bunch of distractions around me, it's not really gonna get me anywhere. Um, then again, that's how I am. The whole time I was in school, I always said, I see myself wearing hijab um, later in the future. You know, later as in like after I get married in the future. Later as in like maybe after I have a kid or maybe, you know, when I get older. Like I never thought it would be when, before I got married. Like I never thought that I would wear hijab before I got married. Like never. Let me just say that. Never. But what really got me to wear it was when a friend of mine, or but what really got me to wear it was when a classmate of mine um, passed away. It was in 2011. I met him in the Islamic school that I that we both attended. Although we. We weren't like best friends or anything like that. When you're in an Islamic school, they're your family. Like you become family, and your family knows each other, and everybody knows each other. So through, throughout the years, you know, my classmates, we were, we were very close with each other. Well, he was a very nice guy. He was um, very charming, and if very just very outgoing. Um, so just to think that someone your age you know, just, was just, like just died like that, so young, um, I believe he was 20. He, he just made that decision for me to wear hijab a lot easier. Um, I always made excuses of why I didn't want to wear hijab so early. But when, you know, with his death and everything, it just, made it a lot more vivid and it made it a lot more clear that now probably that's something that I should be thinking about and that's something I should be doing soon you know don't think that tomorrow is guaranteed and don't think that you know don't leave things for tomorrow that you can do today basically and you can read that sentence because it's such a famous sentence you can read it everywhere and you're like oh don't leave for tomorrow but you can do it today blah 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 and it's just a sentence until you find a meaning to it you know, until something drastic happens in your life and then that sentence means so much. For that reason, yeah, I had a lot of influences in my life, but for that specific reason, I was like, that's it. Like, what else? I mean, and um, I started wearing very um, baggy clothes, you know, and I started wearing like quarter sleeves instead of like, instead of a short sleeve. Um, then I started wearing, gradually, I started wearing like long sleeves, shirts, and then after that I started buying like a size bigger than I usually am, and it, it just went that way for like, like a month or two, um, and then I, all of a sudden, I woke up to, to pray Fajr, and when I woke up to pray Fajr, subhanAllah, I don't know why, but I really don't know why. But I felt like, let me, I feel like I'm good, you know. I think I have a decent wardrobe, you know. 
I think I'm ready. Let me, let me just try it out. So I went to school that day wearing a hijab, and it was a test. It was a tryout that I put for myself. I went to pick up my best friend, and I had the scarf on. And when I seen her face, she was like so shocked. She opened the door, she looked like, Maya, what are you doing? What? What's that in your head? I'm like the same thing that's on your head. <laughs> and she's like, no, I know that, but like, why are you wearing it? And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna try it out for today. And she's like, okay, cool. You know, she didn't give me much thought to it. She didn't try to talk me into it. Um, and I thank her, I thank her for that. I, I went to school, I went to all my classes. People didn't recognize me. My teachers were like, do we have a new student in mid semester? What's going on? Um, so that was kind of weird because it was mid-semester. I Yesterday, I went there with my beautiful flowy hair and today I'm totally covered. And a lot of my classmates were like, you are, um, well, you are a Maya, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's still me. Um, but they were super nice, you know? And the ones who were, weren't nice, I mean, I really didn't talk to them, so I didn't care anyways. When Muhammad seen me, we weren't married or anything or engaged or nothing, just friends. He he saw me and he was like, you are in the hijab? And I'm like, no, it's a practice. He's like, oh, looks nice. And very, like, super chill also. So all our friends were just very like, oh, what, what is that in your head? Oh, you look nice, whatever. Like, they didn't really push hijab on me. They were just very normal about it, like, okay, whatever. And it made it so easy on me. It just made it that much easier for me to, to wear it. And going back home, um, when I got home, my mom seen me, because my mom didn't see me leave the house with a hijab. She seen me get to the house after school with a hijab. Um, she was like, did you go to, uh, to the Islamic school today? And I'm like, no, I just went to school like this. She's like, what do you mean to, you went to school like that? And I'm like, mom, I just wanted to try it out. She's like, you wanted to try what out? And I'm like, wearing the scarf and she's like but why and I'm like I don't know it's just something you know I just woke up and I felt like I I wanted to wear it and I wore it and she's like oh okay are you gonna wear it like forever and I was like I don't know why and she kind of like didn't like the idea of me wearing it so young um and we just had like an argument about it and she felt like I should have let her know before I made any decision and that's what aggravated her so much and this is when it got very tough I think the toughest I have ever had it since today was because my mom and I didn't speak to each other for two weeks um, because she felt like I wasn't ready for it and she, you know in a way she was right because she all she knows is me you know spending so much money on on clothes spending so much money for on hair products then she she knows that i was a super super girly girl and she knew how it would always wake up like an, an hour two hours before i should have just to do everything to do my hair and stuff so she she felt like i wasn't ready and she's like, you're not being yourself. Like, why are you wearing hijab? Like, you, that this is not even you. You're a good girl. Why do you feel like you have to wear hijab? And I'm like, mom, it's so much more than that. You know, you feel like me wearing hijab is going to change me as a person when, when it's not. You know, I, I still am girly. I still am who I am. It's just that I'm covered. You know, that's really all about it. Like, this right here is not going to change. And this right here is not going to change. It's just the appearance it's gonna change and for her it was very drastic change because I didn't tell her I didn't warn her it was just something that I you know came to my head and, and fed your prayer and just I just went along with it and she she just knows how I am as a person and how sometimes I can be sensitive when people don't um, don't necessarily like something that I do I get very emotional and like sensitive about it so she's like how, how are you gonna live your life you know you're sensitive enough as it is, imagine people outside, what if they're mean to you? What if they say this to you? What if, you know, how are you gonna handle yourself? So she was very scared for me. Um, it wasn't that she didn't like hijab, it was just that she knows, so she knows how I am as a person, so she probably thought that I wasn't strong enough. So yeah, it went like that for, for two weeks, you know, my dad was very impressed 
he was very impressed when he found out I, I you know, I decided to wear hijab. Um, my brothers were very, very cool about it. You know, of course they asked like, oh, really? You, out of everyone, you're, you want to wear it. Um, you know, my sister, she, she just, it was so normal. You know, we went to all Islamic schools, so when you, it, it wasn't something new to us. It was something new to my mom. I feel like the fact that she didn't want me to wear it made me want to wear it more. It felt like I wore it mainly to prove her in the beginning that I am capable of it. And, you know, screw whatever people think, you know. You have the good fair share of people and the bad fair share of people, you know, and that's just never gonna change. And it was very tough for me, and it was very tough for her as well, because my mom and I are like best friends. Like, we are this. We're like this. Like, we're like one, literally. We're, we're best, best friends. And anything, anytime I felt any certain way, I would just run to my mom and tell her. You know, any situation I was put in, I would go to her for advice, and I still do. Um, we're just very, very close. So I think me not sharing something so huge bothered her because it's like I was leaving her out but eventually after that we you know we started speaking again and now my mom is my number one fan I mean if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see how she literally comments on every post that is out there of my face and anyone any anytime anyone says anything like mean my mom would always say something back but in a very very nice way she's just the best and if there's a fan out there that I know will stay with me through the end, it's my mom. And if anything, the best decision I have ever done by far in my life is to wear hijab. I, I cannot even fathom to, to think of me going outside of the house without wearing it. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Um, was there struggles going through it? absolutely did i feel insecure you have no idea i feel so insecure every day of my life but i'm the type of person that when i make when i make a decision oh i stick to it and to be quite honest it took about a year maybe two to feel comfortable with a hijab um to feel pretty in a hijab to feel as one as like i don't even have to think about what other people think of me like what I did for those two years to feel comfortable to where I am now is try different hijab styles, see what matches your face, play around with it. You know, I know people say, oh, hijab is not meant for fashion, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those are the people that you don't pay attention to. You know what I mean? Like, they, they're just over there talking. Like, don't even. Um, hijab is not fashion. We all know that. But looking pretty, what, well, is that a crime to look pretty? It's not a crime to look pretty. Absolutely not. And as long as you dress modest and you carry yourself in a in a good way, in a highly way, so when a person sees you and they know that you are a Muslim, you are representing Islam the way it should be represented, then don't worry about anything else. Watch what you do, watch what you say, dress pretty, dress modestly, and you are good. Like wearing hijab is not that damn hard. <laughs> People make it seem like it's the hardest thing and hard, like at all. It's so beautiful. It, it does make you feel a certain way. It does make you feel very proud of who you are, where you come from, who you re what you represent. You know, it's so much more than a cloth. You know, so much more than baggy clothes. Like it's so much more than that. I wish people could understand. It's not just clothes. It's something that it does to you. Like it's something that you know you're representing your religion and and your people and it's, it's it's amazing another thing that I did was that I found when I got an Instagram I found that there were so many hijabis um, uh, fashion bloggers and fashion people that wear hijab and I was just like oh, does that even exist like that's so freaking that's so amazing like where have you been in my life? I probably would have made this choice a lot, you know, sooner. Had I known that, you know, you can make hijab look so nice. Um, so that really uplifted me. You know, a lot of these people, a lot of these girls who who started YouTube and started making YouTube videos for hijab, I, it made me feel like I had a lot of options to choose from. Like, oh my God, there's so many hijab styles out there. Like, like all I knew was wraparounds, you know? Um, 
not knowing that there's just so many out there that you can just play around with your face and see what matches your your face shape more um, even outfit ideas like it made it a lot easier for me and it made me feel a lot more comfortable and it made me feel a lot more prettier so another big factor is that you need to go to the companies to sell these gorgeous hijabs um, and get them get them all because when you see a gorgeous hijab, I swear to God, it just makes you, it just makes you want to wear it even more. Like the one company that really is just amazing, like amazing with their hijabs is, un is unique hijabs. Like hands down, like hands down girl. They, it's like every week, like every time I go to the website, every week, every other week, they have new scarves. And now I switch from buying hair products to buying hijab, so that's okay. And it's a lot cheaper, so it's even better. Um, so check them out. A lot of my Instagram posts, I am wearing unique hijabs. The prices, you guys, it's amazing. It's just, how do you beat that? All right, Kaba Yars Fashion, they have the most amazing dresses. They have the most amazing blouses. They have the most amazing skirts. Like, they have just everything. And that is okay make it easier for those who are thinking about hijab and you're like oh i don't know what to buy go to these places go to these websites because they offer so much those would be my tips for you girls i'm sorry if i rambled so much i really i honestly do hope that you um like this video uh, you know if you have a hijab question or any concern or whatever like email me like email me whatever you question you have you can email me you can leave messages down below i'm here for you guys you know i do want to help you i'm not just making this video just to see myself on youtube or to see myself on instagram thank you so much for watching again and thank you for your support and your love i love you guys so much salam